Hello everyone! Today I'm opening a new box of poster color paints by Turner. Uh, I get these on Amazon and they came all the way from Japan. And I have showed you before some poster paint. I even did a little video. They're Sakura. And they often come in those jars. Uh, this is quite a small one, but it's 30 uh, milliliter. Uh, they often come in, in 40 milliliter. milliliter. Ooh, milliliter. Oof, I got it. <laughs> so these are different. They come in tubes, uh, 11 ml tubes. Um, and I wanted to try these because um, they come with a bunch of uh, accessories that I see a lot of uh, Japanese uh, anime or uh, background artists use. Um, so here we go. So it also comes with, so it does have a lot of extras. It came with uh, three um, extra watercolor tubes. Uh, it's a sample pack, I guess. I might compare it actually to um, if it has uh, identical colors here. I'm not sure if it has the same colors, but I might compare the consistency at least uh, with the uh, poster color here. Um, it comes with a flyer, and what I like with this, even though everything is in a foreign language, it's actually pretty easy to understand not this page but the other side here it shows you how to mix your colors and actually I think I went on their website and it shows um, how to um, the amount of colors you need to uh, to get all those uh, swatches here so I thought that was pretty cool so here we are. We have uh, 12 colors plus an extra big uh, tube of white, 20 ml, which I thought was a great addition because uh, white, uh, as well as gu uh, with gouache paint, white is used a lot. So yeah, these tubes are very small. Um, so if you paint a lot, uh, they're, they're a great sample, but that's about it. But that was great for me to try them. Comes with a little um, towel to uh, clean your um, your brushes when you change colors, and it it comes with three brushes, which I thought was great uh, because since it comes from Japan, um, it has all the brushes that the Japanese artists use. Um, it's not probably not like super high quality I mean these are not bamboo or any kind of wood they're just plastic but doesn't mean the bristles aren't good um, we'll see but they have a nice fine point so I hope they work well and and it also comes with a ruler I've seen a lot of animators or at least background artists use these um, not necessarily to measure anything, but mainly to um, to paint straight lines. So you put it flat, and there's a groove right here. Let's see. See the groove? It's the whole length here. And you have one of these. You can use just a regular pen or whatever fits in here. And what you do that you hold it along your brush so kind of chopsticks you put the little ball at the end of this stick in the, the groove and then you hold your paintbrush there and you need you probably need to rest your brush on your middle finger here so that it stays at the same distance as the stick and then you follow the groove with with the stick here and then you draw or you paint a straight line so that's pretty cool pretty nifty tool 
so besides these the box which is in plastic also comes with also it has holes in the back and I'm guessing that um, when you put your your brushes back in the box if they're still wet once you've cleaned them at least there's some ventilation um, I'm guessing <laughs> all right so the lid of this box also has not one but two palettes which is really cool you can put this you have your little wells here where you can put your colors and a lot of mixing areas so that's really neat and the way it holds together just snaps together in place and then you can and then you use it as a lid so there and there you have your box so I'm gonna compare like if you buy a regular tube of gouache like this is a um, M gram um, here I have a Windsor and Newton uh, so again you can see that they're small smaller these are this is a 14 this is a 15 and this is an 11 ml so uh, this is a, a little bit smaller um, so from what I gather poster paint uh, not poster paint poster color is very very similar to gouache but it's um, it's not as good um, the quality isn't as good as gouache I think it has something to do with the uh, the pigments the concentration of pigments is higher in uh, in gouache especially the professional uh, gouache but I really can't tell I did only one painting with um, the Sakura poster color so far and just a few paintings with the gouache um, so my goal is to really um, paint a lot more with both the poster colors and the gouache so that I can see if there's a real difference between the two of them if there isn't I might as well stick with gouache because they're much easier to find in western countries uh, usually the poster colors you have to import them and uh, it's not very cost effective so uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a lot of that and I'll share uh, my work with you but for now I'm going to do swatches of this and I might compare the only color that I have in gouache that's common to this is the burnt sienna so I'm going to swatch these two next to each other so that we can see if there's any um, difference as far as consistency and uh, colors and all that it's a different brand so it, it's very likely that the color uh, will be a little different and then I'll try to I don't really have these colors here but I'll, I'll swatch this on the same paper to see uh, to compare the um, again the consistency see how how it is So here it is, um, we have the whole set of uh, Turner Poster Color. Um, just like with the uh, Sakura Poster Color, you can see that there's um, two yellows and two reds and two, there's a warm and a cool of each color, which is really sweet. So it's this—it's a different color. It's a different color name with the Sakura poster color, but it 
it's basically um, oh it's very similar colors uh, the white is nice and opaque and so compared to the gouache the Amgram gouache the, these two swatches are the same as these two I've got the uh, Turner here and the Amgram gouache um, it felt like the uh, poster color was easier to spread than the gouache I might be wrong uh, but you can tell this is a little bit more red than this but it's, it's probably normal because to, usually different brands have uh, slightly different tints and here I've got the watercolors which are definitely the <laughs> yellow, cyan and magenta they feel like uh, printer cartridges <laughs> but they spread really well they're watered down nicely and they're definitely uh, not as opaque as these so now I'm gonna try to paint something with these um, it's a little daunting because I, I like to paint a uh, background or more like a landscape I guess and I rarely paint those um, I'm really into details so when I think about a landscape it scares me a little <laughs> but, but I don't want to paint all the details of a landscape but I want to make it look really nice um, so who knows maybe I'll just start with a tree <laughs> we'll see um, stick around and I'll see what I can paint with these so there's something I forget to do is to check if I can uh, remove some of the paint or not uh, usually you can with gouache once they're all dry, they still come off. See, that's the M gram gouache. Um, I'm pretty sure poster color is the same. Yep. So they they do stain, and you won't get a perfect white once you remove the color. I don't think you can go back to a perfect white of the paper. So to tell you the truth, starting this was terrifying. I had no idea what I was doing and where I was going and what it was going to look like at the end. And I really had to push myself to get started. But as I was thinking about it, or more like overthinking it, I just told myself, okay, what's the worst that can happen? You mess up, no big deal. It's a sketchbook. No worries, it's, it's fine. You're just practicing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you're just trying, trying something new, it's okay. It's not as if somebody had paid me a fortune to paint something for them and and I couldn't mess it and it had to be perfect and all. No, it, it should be just for fun, just to see what I can do with those paints. So after that internal monologue, uh, convincing myself that it's no big deal, I just, I'm just giving it a shot, I'm just trying something new and it doesn't have to be great, it's okay if I mess up, it's just a sketchbook and it's just a painting for myself. I just picked up my pencil and I started sketching. The sketch was pretty quick and so it kind of made me feel better because I realized they were very simple shapes and so I thought it probably would uh, not be that terrible when I started using the paints. And my goal with the paints was to be as loose as possible. But after a while, especially when I started working on the trees, I realized that I was using the smaller brush and that I was starting to add more details and I forced myself to um, just use the flat brush, the bigger brush, as much as possible. And that's what I did. I mean, the, the painting is very small, so I did have to use the smaller brush for a few things like the highlights and the water and a few other little details that I couldn't do with the flat brush. But all in all, I'm very pleased with the result. It's not perfect, it's not exactly what I had in mind, 
but it's a start and to me yes I, I think it's very encouraging that uh, I get to this point so now I need to practice and practice and practice to get it to the point where I'm very happy with my paintings but I'm actually looking forward to painting another one and now for the poster color paints I thought they were lovely to use they really feel like wash. They're easy to spread and mix together and blend. They re-wet really easily and you can see they're really, really bright. For this particular painting, I didn't even bother toning them down because uh, where I live, a sunny day after a snowstorm is really, really bright. And those blues are that blue, really. And there's the contrast are really amazing. I love taking a walk once the, the snow has stopped and the sun is out because the colors are absolutely amazing. So even if those colors kind of look a bit surreal, to me it kind of reflects what I experience every time I go for a walk after a snowstorm. Now my question was, because those colors uh, are very bright, I was wondering about the light fastness of poster colors. And it's the same with the Sakura poster colors. Uh, there's not much information out there. And all the, um, the flyers, everything I have, it's all in Japanese and I can't read Japanese. So my guess is because they're used mostly for designs and animation, not necessarily for fine art, they're not really hung in a frame on the wall. Although I guess if you go to the Ghibli Museum in Japan, uh, a lot of the backgrounds are in frames. Uh, so they must be somewhat light fast, I'm not sure. But because they're mostly used for designs and all that, the light fastness probably doesn't really matter for those artists. Like gouache, for instance, uh, now a lot more fine artists use them, so the companies have started making them a lot more light fast. But then again, gouache paints are nicer quality than poster colors usually. They have finer pigments. And because I didn't find any information about the light fastness of poster colors, I decided to do a test myself. So in uh, another video that you'll see in a while, you'll see that I painted some swatches and I just hung them on my window. And we're still early in the season. I'm not sure if the sun is bright enough for a test, but I'm just gonna wait for a while. In a few months, then I'll post the results in another video. So I'm glad I got to try those poster colors. They're a lot of fun to use. And also I'm very proud that I got to uh, conquer my fears <laughs> if you want to try poster colors but aren't sure i would really recommend this turner set because it comes with everything you need with the palette and the brushes i think it's really cool and it's not a huge quantity if you uh, get a set that comes in jars you get a lot of them and if you don't like the paint then it's kind of a waste so i think this set is really cool and it's a prime color set so again you have a warm and a cool of each primary color so thank you everybody for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon thank you bye bye